Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now that I had my motorcycle for a couple of weeks already, I already have already done already. Um, a few things to it. I haven't done any videos on it because they were pretty minor so didn't really want to waste uh, my time and your time. But uh, I will quickly give you a tour of what I have done so far and, um, and what I will be doing today. So starting at the front, um, what I installed is a uh, Bunking uh, T-bar lift kit. It's a uh, one and a half inch um, little shims that go here and uh, it lifts up the bars just a tiny bit. There's plenty of room left uh, in the older cabling. Um, the clutch cable has tons of room left and uh, and brakes also have plenty of room left on it. The second thing that I have done so far is a uh, mustache engine guards. These are the Harley Davidson mustache guards. It's pretty simple install. There's only uh, three bolts. One's right over here, and uh, one on each side. So pretty straightforward. Took only about uh, 10 minutes or so. Another thing that I uh, did a few days ago is a uh, swing arm bag. It's a uh, leather swing arm bag, four straps. Again, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So, not that I've been riding my bike for a couple of weeks, uh, one thing, well, I should say one negative thing that I uh, have to say about is a, uh, the stock seat. Obviously the bike has uh, lots of power, so every time you give a little throttle, um, you keep sliding back. So the only thing you have left to do is uh, to hold on to the bars. Obviously not a very comfortable way of riding, so I have to do something about this seat. As you can see here, the stock seat practically has no back support whatsoever. Now another thing uh, that I have to keep in mind uh, when I purchased my seat is I'm pretty short, I'm only 5'4", my inseam is 28 inches, so I have to be able to flat foot. It's not a light bike, so I have to be pretty comfortable with the height and uh, the position, obviously. On the stock seat, uh, wearing my riding boots, I can easily flat foot. Uh, and that's really kind of what I was going for when I uh, was looking for a seat. There's definitely a shortage of uh, good seats on the market and everyone obviously has opinion on how they feel about the seat that they purchased and uh, you know the comfort, the positioning and so on and so forth. Uh, so I've done a bunch of uh, research and uh, I settled uh, on the seat so let's take a look at what I bought. Alright guys so here it is, it's a Drag Specialties Predator 3C. Alright, so here it is, unpacked, uh, so let's talk about this really quickly. As I mentioned earlier, obviously there's no shortage of uh, good seats out there, there's settlement that a lot of people like, there's La Para, Whiplash, um, and there's, there's also a couple of custom options which were a little too expensive uh, for me. Um, so what I was looking for uh, mainly, again, I tried to keep as close as possible to the stock seat, uh, stock height and also a good slope for my back support, which this seat obviously accomplishes and you'll take a look at it once I put it on. But um, what I also liked about this, is it's a, it's a little different from other seats in a sense. Um, it's not just your typical fastback or a two up seat, it has a little bump here. Um, it has a pretty nice stitching, it's a double diamond stitching with a silver thread which is kind of what I was going for because I have a, uh, uh, a silver silver bike um, so without wasting too much time let's get this thing installed and see what it looks like on a bike so to remove a stock seat it's super simple there's only one bolt here once it's out you just lift it up and pull the seat out now so the next thing that we need to do is we have to relocate the stock bolt to the two-up position and just basically need to remove this uh, cap. So let's remove the cap. It should just come right out. Shoot is the keyword. All right, 
let's hold, hang on to that for later. Um, now, to remove this uh, nut, I'm gonna put the stock bolt back in so it doesn't drop down when I remove the, this little plastic retainer. Okay, so, it's out. Now, I've seen a lot of people do uh, different little tricks to make sure this thing doesn't drop. Obviously, you could just let it go and let it drop and find it on your, by yourself, but um, some people put little strings through it with a little nut at the end and kind of let it drop and pick it up from the bottom. But I'm going to use a little magnet from the bottom. And just kind of... mm -hmm. All right, so this is the piece that we are going to relocate to the back position. There's only one way to put it in. It's got a little notch, so self-explanatory. Alright, so from the bottom, push it up, and, and put your little retainer ring in, that's it. And what I'm also going to do is, I'm going to take a this little stuck plug from the back and put it in the front, in case if I need to reuse it later. Now let's put the new seat back in. Same exact uh, way as you took the old one out. All right, let's lay this retainer piece in. All right, that's pretty much it. Put the bolt back in. that. so it makes me um, put my feet apart a little bit more. Uh, if I scoot slightly forward, I can flat foot. If I'm further back, uh, my heels are slightly off the ground. Now I can tilt the bike a little bit more to the right, right or left to give me that flat footing position. So if I'm on a hill or something, I need to keep my brake. Not an issue. Uh, same thing for uh, you know, shifting at all. That's, that's, not, that's not a problem, okay? So, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you my full uh, review once you start writing, writing it a little while. Now, it's also not super cushy seat, at least not yet, because again, it is brand new, so I guess the foam needs to break in a little bit, but there's definitely plenty of give, so I think after a couple hundred miles of riding, it'll, it'll break in nicely, and uh, maybe the sides kind of will contour a little bit more and give me a little extra width, but I can definitely tell there's probably about a quarter inch wider in the base versus the stock. The front is pretty narrow, so I can always scoot forward if I need to put my uh, feet down, and then as I ride, I slide back. Now, also another question that I, I myself ask other guys is, are you sitting any further back or forward? Uh, this seat does not really position me that much further, maybe about a half an inch or so, but again, that's not a problem uh, when, when you ride. It's, you know, again, and when, when, I, when I stand at the light, I'll just stand up and move myself slightly forward. So that shouldn't be an issue. But again, I won't know exactly how I feel about all of this until I ride on it for a little while. All right, guys, so that was a quick and easy install of my new uh, Predator 3 seat. If you liked the video, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.